In the latter part of 2013, we went through the book of 1 John. 1 John is very different in that it's very direct in your face and tells you the do's and the don'ts of the faith. As we come into God, John's gospel here, we're about to embark upon a study of what theologians would call narrative. Now, let me just tell you what this means in lay terms and just so we get it together. We're leaving a part of the Bible that it said, do, don't, don't, do, which for us was simple. You say, what do you do with that? You do and you don't. <laughs> you don't and you do. Now we're going to come into a storytelling, a historicity, a sharing of the reality of some of the things that have taken place. And I tell you that because we learn differently. And I want to prepare your hearts and ask you to pray and ask God to prepare your hearts. You see, when you're learning through narrative, we're looking for those things that have application in our lives that may not be as direct as a didactic teaching that says do or don't. Think of it this way. We're going to be looking for the principles of application. We're going to be looking for those things that speak to and shape our hearts as we become those more and more like Christ. You'll see this this morning in part as we look at verses 19 through 34 of chapter 1. And in this way, I'm going to ask you some questions this morning. You see, in a didactic do and don't teaching, it's very black and white and very straightforward. You tend to have more claims and assertions directed at you, which you must encounter and then deal with. In a narrative, what I think you'll find is that asking yourself some pertinent and applicable questions may be a better way to learn and be changed by the Word of God. Let me give you, as we begin, the big idea from this passage. And my prayer is that you'll see as we walk through, wow, yeah, that's exactly what God wants me to take away from here. That's exactly what he's saying. And here it is, friends. There is no identity crisis in Christ. Hear me again. If you are a biblical believer, not steeped in religion, but in the sweet relationship that a biblical believer will have with Jesus the Christ, I promise you, whether you're looking internally, externally, or up, there is no identity crisis in Christ ever, period. Now, with that said, I'm going to ask you to consider five questions and watch how God lays these questions in to the weave and the fabric of this portion of Scripture as we go. Question number one will be, who are you? Who are you? Number two, what do you say about yourself? What do you say about yourself? Three, who is Jesus? Really, who is Jesus? Four, what do you say about him? Really, what do you say about Jesus? And then last, the fifth question, are you sure? Are you sure? 